Raycliffe G2. All right, welcome to Cigar Vlog. Uh, I'm kind of starting to do a little bit of an intro, a little bit more like welcome to the Cigar Vlog, just because I think it, it feels more professional that way. So anyway, Greycliff G2. Normally, Greycliffs are a luxury brand that typically runs you well into the triple digits for pretty much everything. So the fact they put out this sucker, which runs about sixty bucks for for a standard box, which is which is pretty standard price. I figured these are probably the most affordable way to get your hands on an actual gray cliff. Funny thing about them, they're actually made in Jamaica. Everybody likes to go on and on and on about how great Cubans are, and yet here we have one of the most expensive cigars you can get, and it's Jamaican. This one's a torpedo, as you can see. It's always kind of hard to tell where the actual cap is on a torpedo because they are so long. The other thing to be careful of is this, uh, this tip here. Can squeeze down the leaves in the end and give you a very stiff draw if you're not careful. Some cigars are packed a little tighter than others, some are not. I really don't usually notice too much. But anyway, <coughs> but anyway I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this cut and lit. And I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to try a V cutter today. Because actually, they do work with these, believe it or not. Alright, so I've read that bird stop squeaking in my ear. I'll get, that, I'll get back to you after this is going. Okay, this light almost didn't happen. <laughs> okay, for starters, I think my lighter is like just about out of gas, as in like it's just propellant, no actual fuel, it's not lighting at all. And I had my last three matches. You kind of have to light three of them just to get enough actual space, uh, flames wise, to actually get the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was kind of starting to freak out a little bit. So, yeah, as you can see, V cuts work just fine on torpedoes. Nice smooth draw, earthy nose, no spice at all, just light creamy smooth tobacco right off the foot. Excellent start. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this uh, pile of whatever I'm standing in, and uh, by the way, I'm just in grass. <laughs> Don't go digging out in a weird direction. Uh, anyway, I'm get, uh, wherever I am, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'll get back to you as soon as I get to about the inch mark. All right. About an inch down. Those in the nose is this uh, sweet, earthy cedar in the Nepal Ridge Oil. It's very nice. Overall, after about an inch, the flavors have been a uh, very subtle but uh, sweet, pleasant, kind of creamy tobacco. A little earthiness to it. Very, very nice. I don't typically go for the milder, milder, milder lighter flavored cigars, but this one's actually turning out to be quite. Uh, Quite pleasant, especially after a, a big, heavy meal, you know? Like if you have some like fried food with a lot of grease in it, this is a great palate cleanser so far. Subtle sweet, just nice overall. All right, I'm gonna keep going to the halfway point. We'll see if anything changes. See you then. All right, about the halfway point, now it's just fell off. So far I've noticed that the uh, overall flavor I was noticing in the retrohale, the kind of earthy cinnamon, kind of crept its way in the main body of the cigar, about that, a little bit past the first inch. It's just a nice, subtle, sweet kind of cinnamon roll kind of flavor. Not really bready or anything, just a little, a little sweet, a little creamy, and uh, it's got kind of like a bakery, cinnamony, like really high quality cinnamon kind of thing. You know, like this you know, like kind of cinnamon that uh, isn't necessarily blow your head off cinnamon flavor, but tastes like it came from somewhere, you know? I'm not getting a whole lot of mouth dry or anything like that, so that's always good. Seems to be smoking fairly decently. Well, it's just a warm, nice, inviting looking little cigar. The aroma has those classic uh, cigar this lounge kind of smell. You know, just, it smells like gold fashioned cigar. You know, it's good for pretty much any, any time of day you can think of. You can go ahead and wake up with them, finish your day with them. One of these plus a uh, nice cold old fashioned little day. I'm got to take a nap. <laughs> That's a person probably not anything more interesting going on there. That's it though. Pouring pretty well so far. Burns a little off kilter, but uh, you could probably consider that being that rush light. But overall, no major issues. Just don't need to touch up. Not sure I can touch up, but. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, nice overall. Oh, I see a little cook, a little cocoaish. You know, it's like it's like when you get a cinnamon roll. You know, you smell that kind of cinnamon bread cooking. You know, excellent cigar. All right. We'll do a final update right about the band. This actually has a traditional band in a traditional spot, so that's going to be easy to figure out. And beyond that, yeah, nice smoke. Get tons of foot smoke, as you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just pouring off the foot smoke. So don't smoke this in the car. All right, I'll get back to the band. All right, we're getting done with the band here. Another nice quiet night. Here comes another car. Great. Anyway, this is going to be my final update for this cigar. So far, right about the midpoint. Right about the midpoint, it got a slightly cocoa note. I've noticed the ash gets this kind of weird flowery thing going on. Which is, uh, so you kind of want to be careful of if you're smoking in a confined space with a car or something. And here's another car. And a couple more. Okay. Anyway. So we're a nice, clean, unobtrusive, pretty good cigar for any time. Yeah, that I really don't have much else to say about it. Other than it's probably just going to wash out from here. So, good cigar. Pick one. Cheapest curricular as you can get. I'd say definitely worth the money. So, if you like this video or any other video, like, subscribe, hit the little bell button next to it so you get a uh, little update whenever, every time I post. And it seems like I've got something else I want to throw in at that. Oh yeah, leave a comment. Yeah, YouTube's doing things where now you have to leave a comment now. It goes by traffic to promote videos. So don't leave a comment. Tell me if you've ever had these. If you've ever, you know, had one that was just completely garbage. If they're all good. Or if you just want to say hello. Or not, that's pretty much all I got. I'll see you next time.